Hey Brenda. Hey Brian. How you doing? I'm good. Awesome. Okay, bye. Today guys, a little conversation flow tutorial. I'm gonna go over some ways for you to never run out of things to say when you're talking to that spicy ass senorita. And please note, these tips will work in any situation with anybody, not just with women, but a lot of times as dudes, we freeze up. The light goes off in our brain and we can't think of anything to talk about even though we're a super interesting dude. If you're ready, gentlemen, to talk better, why don't you drop me? One of these. The inspiration for today's video is actually an audiobook called Models that I recently finished listening to by Mark Manson. Mark Manson is the same guy that wrote The Subtle Art of Not Giving an F. And one of the chapters in the audiobook was the three components to keeping a conversation with a woman interesting and engaging. And this really got me thinking a little bit more about how to actually talk to somebody and keep a conversation going and flowing in order to create that connection and bond. So the first trick and technique that I want to talk about is one that's been around for a while and it's called the FORD technique. Basically, FORD is an acronym that stands for Family, Occupation, Recreation, and Dreams. By asking questions in these categories or subjects, it's going to allow you to build a deeper connection and rapport and basically be able to talk and communicate with pretty much anybody. One of the things that's going to allow you to be a social freaking ninja in terms of communication and small talk is learning to ask open-ended questions that allow the person to actually lead and take a conversation where they want it to go. Close-ended question is is one that you are not gonna get any additional information, right? It's something like, how was your day? Right, somebody's gonna say, it was fine or it was bad. As opposed to asking somebody, what was the best part of your day? Or what was the worst thing that happened today? It's going to make them or force them to start to communicate a little bit more. They're gonna tell you the more they tell you, the more conversational threads you're gonna be able to pull from what they actually divulge. If they tell you something and they start to light up, right? Because that's what happens. When you ask the right question about something somebody's passionate about, they get excited, they talk. And when they talk, you've gotta keep looking. Try to take something else that they say as another thread and start to pull it. The idea is that you need to connect with them on a deeper level. If you can connect and relate to something that they're excited and passionate about, game over, you win conversation for days. Something else that Mark Manson talks about in this audiobook models is the art of cold reading. Cold reading is the skill of intuitively knowing something about somebody without actually knowing it, all right? It's about reading, being perceptive. If you can pick up something or get a feeling that there's something about them that you already know and then actually say something to them about this thing, that is a better way to actually create a conversational thread that's going to be super powerful. Good example, like, you seem like you're probably a California girl, or you seem like you would be a creative person. I'll bet your job is super interesting, right? And make a statement. It's a statement as opposed to a question. Or even something if you're talking to two people, right? You seem like you've been friends for a while, right? It's a statement. It's not a question, but it's going to allow the conversation to flow. They're gonna to start to talk because they're assuming that you took interest in them, and this is something that we like. We love to feel like we're interesting or like somebody is taking an interest in this. Gentlemen, this audiobook is game-changing. It's literally game-changing. Guys, the book is called Models by Mark Manson, Attract Women Through Honesty. Boom, like I'm talking boom, because all this other pickup, attraction, nonsense that's out there is all about trying to be or act or say something that's not really you. This book is a game changer and I honestly want all of you to listen to it. Guys, if you wanna check it out, it's free right now, 30 day free trial. For those of you who hit that special link down below, audible.com slash alpha M, or you can send the text alpha M to 500, 500 to get a free 30 day trial to Audible Premium Plus. You're also gonna get one free audio Audiobook. You guys out there that have already listened to The Subtle Art Not Given an F, you know Mark, right? You know his style, you know the shit is like game-changing stuff. Models, this book about attraction through honesty. It's another one of those audiobooks that truly like shake and rocked my foundation to the core because it made me think about things differently. But the way that he explains it and the way and the methods in which he helps you do it is insanely amazing. Something else that's amazing is Audible. Guys, Audible has an insane selection of different titles. Everything from bestsellers, so celebrity memoirs, business, entrepreneurship, pretty much you name it, Audible's got it. Something else they have is the plus category. And when you're an Audible member, you get unlimited access to the Audible plus category. And it's amazing. They have not only audiobooks, they've got guided fitness meditation programs, they've got podcasts, they've got some of your favorite shows that are ad-free that you get to download and stream as much as you want. When you're an Audible member, guys, every single month you get one credit to download any audiobook you want, any price, it doesn't matter, and it's yours. It's yours to keep in your Audible library. But 
the cool thing is that if you don't like it, you don't love it, you can change it. I personally will not sit down and read a book. I hate sitting there and reading, but the cool thing with Audible, I can multitask, right? I can exercise, pop on my Audible and listen when I'm exercising, or cleaning, or traveling, or driving, because that's the cool thing. With the Audible app, you can actually listen anywhere on any device. And guys, like I said, right now, if you want to check it out, it's totally free. If you go through our special link, got to go through the link, audible.com slash alpha M, or you can send the text alpha M to 500, 500 to start your 30 day free trial to Audible Premium Plus, but you're also going to get one free audio book. I would highly recommend checking out models. All right. This book is insane and it's going to help you connect with people through honesty, as opposed to trying to act or show them that you're something that you're actually not. Brings me to the next tip to get somebody to open up about themselves. Once they start talking about themselves and what they're interested in and kind of their story, it's going to lead to a ton of conversational nuggets or threads that you can actually start pulling and connect with them. The conversation starter that I want you to lead with. So what's your story? Boom, right? Boom, right there, gentlemen. Game over. Conversation crushing it. Because what's your story is not only an incredible conversation starter, it gets the person talking about themselves and they can actually tell you anything that they want. What people do is pick things that they're actually interested in or they want you to know. All right, this is actually the one that I used on my wife when I met her. I said, hey, so what's your story? And she's like, my story? I said, yeah, what's your story? Tell me about yourself. And it was amazing. Guys, this one works not only with women, but also with dudes or people that you just want to connect with. Because a lot of times, like I said, they're going to tell you and divulge information about themselves that they want you to know. And then you use this information and connect it to something personal about yourself to share a common bond or thread. It's all about being perceptive and listening to what they're telling you and asking the right open-ended question in order to get them to divulge something and a string that you can pull in terms of a conversational thread. This is the way that you are going to continue you to evolve in terms of socially, but also as an incredible conversationalist. Practice. The more you practice, the better off you're going to get. What I would recommend is start practicing with people that don't, don't matter. And what I mean by this is people that you run into on a daily basis, whether or not it's a breeze at Starbucks, a cashier, random people that you just meet throughout your day that don't technically matter. Like if they don't like you or you don't find them fascinating and don't want to connect later, it's no big deal, right? But the cool thing is that the more you do this, the more you practice, the better at it you're going to get when you actually do meet somebody that you want to have an incredible conversation with. And the amazing thing is that the more you practice with people that don't matter, the better at it you're going to get and the more perceptive you're going to be. If you can learn to start to read people in a nonverbal communicating way, the better at cold reading somebody you're going to be and these conversation starters and openers are a lot more powerful because once again, it's about other people feeling like we are engaging or really analyzing or paying attention to them, which is incredibly attractive. Gentlemen, you are amazing. And after this video, hopefully, you're never going to run out of things to say. Okay, bye.